10's Late News with Tracy Spicer. Heading the Late News, emotions start to build ahead of ceremonies to remember the victims of the Port Arthur massacre. Unions prepare to isolate Western Australia on Tuesday in protest at planned industrial relations reforms. And changes in our defence policy could see Australians sent to conflicts overseas. Good evening. First tonight, Tasmanians are bracing for an emotional first anniversary of the Port Arthur massacre. Dignitaries from across Australia are making their way to the island for tomorrow's observance. The service will be held in the ruins of a church overlooking the massacre site. It'll have two major aims, to reclaim the penal settlement site for peace and the people, and to help in the healing process. Special efforts are being made to ensure it caters for those who've suffered most from the shootings, the victims and their families. Although a number of dignitaries from Tasmania and the mainland will be at the service, including the Governor-General Sir William Dean, Senator Jocelyn Newman and Kim Beasley, they'll be adopting a very low profile. It's a service by the people, for the people. All dignitaries will be required to walk here to the church tomorrow and to then stand among members of the general public. It's been seen as a, a major milestone in the recovery process. Um, not that I expect the fairy godmother to go over the site and sprinkle stardust on Tuesday morning, but I feel that people see it as a significant stage to stepping forward and moving on. The anniversary service comes as the healing in Tasmania is far from complete for some. People and, such as uh, heroic tour guide to Wendy Skur, uh, who wishes she'd been there. shot in the massacre, that she's now emotionally but dead. Was, mm. But others such as Bronwyn Hibbert, whose sister Nanette Meekak and children Alana and Madeline were gunned down on the road leading out of Port Arthur, are determined to fight on. But what's come out of it has been a wonderful bond that people, he hasn't beaten us, we're not his victims. The effect it's going to have on our relatives and my children into the future and their families can only be for the good. Norm Beeman, 10 News. In Melbourne today, the first of many ceremonies around Australia to remember Port Arthur. Floral tributes were laid in the city square to commemorate those who lost their lives. A prayer ceremony was also held for the families of victims and survivors of the massacre.